So um, let's say we have been given a function of z uh, which is equals to ln of uh, the square root of x squared plus y squared plus um, one half of tan inverse over uh, x over y. So now what we are trying to show is that um, we are trying to show that the second partial derivative of z with respect to x plus the second partial derivative of z with respect to y gives us zero. So what I would do is that uh, for convenience's sake, for the sake of understanding, I'm going to find the second partial derivative of that one with respect to x and y on its own. I do the same for that one, then I like kind of like bring them together, I unite them together, then I see whether by adding them I'm going to get a zero. Okay, so I'm going to start with this one here. So for this one, I have to first of all find the second partial derivative with respect to x as well as the second partial derivative with respect to y. Then I come to this one, I do the sum, then we bring them together at the end. We see if you're going to get the same thing. You can write them in one line, but I don't have that much space. Uh, if you're writing on paper, they were, it was going to come out just like that. And I guess it's, it's going to do us a lot of good when it comes to understanding this uh, compared to if we make it too complex. It may, we may It's easy to make a mistake when you have too many things at one point. Okay, so by the way, if I, I would advise you pause the video, you just try it out, then play afterwards, then you compare after we are done. Okay, so uh, for this one, for ln of uh, the square root of x squared plus y squared. So now I want to try to find the second partial derivative with respect to x. So meaning, I first of, first of all have to find the first uh, partial derivative. So that is more like z of x, that would be equals to. So differentiating this one here, we are very familiar with that one. So it's more like how it was before we got to that to that point. So it'd be like 1 over um, the square root of x squared plus uh, y squared. So what it is is that you are also going to multiply by what? The derivative of that. Okay, so to find the derivative of that is that I have that as my x squared plus y squared to the power to the power one over two. So to differentiate this, you're using the chain rule. That would be like one over two. Then differentiate what you have here with respect to x. That's going to give you two x like that. Your y squared is a constant. No matter how big or small it is, it's a constant in this case. So then multiply by what your x squared plus your y squared to the power negative one over two. That is when you subtract a one from there. Okay, so the two with there goes and the two goes, you're going to remain with your x divide by uh, your x squared plus your y squared to the power negative one. No, that's not a negative anymore. Since we have taken it on the denominator, that would be like one over two, of which you can just write it as x divided by the square root of x squared plus y squared. And that's what I, I simply bring here. So that'd be like my x divide by the square root of my x squared plus my y squared. And what I come to find is that um, my z, my first derivative is simply one, I mean x over, multiplying these two, you're going to get um, x squared plus y squared. And this is just a first derivative. We have to find the second uh, partial derivative. And what do we do? We can use the quotient rule here. So my u is simply my x there. Then my, I would say my v is simply equals to the denominator, which is x squared plus y squared. So your u prime, the derivative of u, and remember to say you are differentiating with respect to x. So if you have an x term somewhere, an x variable somewhere, just treat it as a constant. That's very important. So here what we have is a 1. Imagine if we had a y here, that this could have been 0 because you are differentiating with respect to x. And because you have a y, only a y, that becomes a zero because you're treating it as a constant. Simple. So your v prime is going to be equals to, once again, differentiate with respect to x. So this is going to be 2x like that. And this gives us a constant. So now, um, the question to remember, your u prime by your v, so that's more like your 1 multiplied by your x squared plus your y squared minus your u by v prime, my u is x, then my v prime is 2x, like that. So divide by, um, let's divide by, what do we have? By v squared. So our v is x squared plus y squared, then we square it like that. So this gives us my, this gives us x squared plus y squared minus 
that gives us 2x squared like that so divide by uh, x squared plus y squared squared like that so you can subtract here you're going to have your y squared minus your x squared that this is a 2x squared that's an x squared subtract that will give you a negative x squared divide by that's your x squared plus y squared squared like that and this simply happens to be our first um, yeah this happens to be our second partial derivative of the first part um, what I mean by the first part is this with respect to what with respect to X so I can write it here I can say okay um, I'll say that second partial derivative of Z with respect to X for this part only I'm not I'm not saying for everything remember so for that part is simply equals to y squared minus x squared divide by your x squared plus your y squared squared like that so now let me find in terms of y the second partial derivative okay so remember to say here I'll just add that after I find so now uh, let's find in terms of y so we will say okay uh, our z with respect to y is for this part here it will be equals to 1 over um, 1 over the square root of x squared plus y squared like that then you multiply by the derivative of uh, what you have here with respect to y so it's like I am having it as my x squared plus y squared to the power 1 over 2 differentiate with respect to y that would be like 1 over 2 this with respect to y is simply um, 2y then you're going to have your x squared plus your y squared to the power negative 1 over 2 because we su we simply subtracted a 1 from there okay so the 2 goes and that goes what do we remain with you're going to remain with 1 y over um, the square root of your x squared plus what y squared and that's what you do we multiply it by what y over um, the square root of x squared plus y squared so z y is equals to y over uh, that would be like x squared plus y squared like that so this is our first partial derivative of this one here with respect to y but we have to find the second partial derivative of whatever we have there with respect to what with respect to x no not with respect, with respect to x but with respect to y the second partial derivative is what we are looking for so now um we're still going to use the quotient rule, so meaning my u is going to be equals to, um, let me use a different color, so my u is going to be equals to y, uh, my v is equals to my x squared plus y squared, my u prime will be equals to 1 because I'm differentiating with respect to y, so my v prime will be equals to what? Um, what is that going to be? Um, that's going to give us um, 2y, like that. Okay, so when you when we use the quotient rule, that'd be like your u prime by your v. So it's like your one. Um, let me just erase that. Okay, so um, our u prime by our v that is a one multiplied by our x squared plus y squared minus our u by v prime that would be like y multiplied by 2y like that divided by our v squared that's simply x squared plus y squared squared like that that's this gives us x squared plus y squared minus 2y squared like that divided by our x squared plus y squared squared this gives us x squared um, that would be minus y squared divided by x squared plus y squared squared like that okay and um, that's simply what we have okay so now we can write it here okay we can say um, I'll use black so the second partial derivative of z with respect to with respect to x, uh, not x, but y. With respect to y, is equals to uh, for the first part for this one, 
we have found um, x squared okay minus y squared divided by our x squared plus y squared uh, with a squared there so this gives me a, this gives me uh, like it's it puts a smile on my face because I know I have okay let me see I have an idea that I'm going in the right direction why because if I to unite these two okay if I to unite these two they have the same common denominator which is x squared plus y squared squared then on the numerator I have well, for the first one I have x squared on the next one I have negative x squared so those, that's going to give me a zero then for the second part I have minus x squared then here I have x squared positive those will give me a zero but maybe it's too early for the celebration yeah let's try to find the other one as well we see what you're going to get but anyway for me it puts a smile on my face so like okay I think I might be going the right direction okay like that so let's try to find for the second part but for the second part I for me it's like maybe the most interesting um, because there's a lot that is involved not as much but the fact that it is involved it reminds us of something that we're not supposed to forget yeah so that's the fun part about math is that we use a lot of things we use a lot of concepts and just to forget one is difficult sometimes more especially if you have been used it has been recurring so like over and over again and at least in that way forgetting something becomes a bit difficult because we don't master here we have to know like you can't really master it to say okay it's like this unless otherwise but if you want to have fun you have to know where it is coming from and why it is like the way it is okay so um I'll, i'm going to say um first of all um i want to find the second partial derivative of of z with respect to x for this one so first of all i have to find the um i have to find the I have, find, I have to find the derivative of this okay I have to find the derivative of that so what it is is that um, you, it's more like here you have your z being equals to your 1 over 2 tan inverse of x over y like that okay so remember to say we can also write this uh, we can also write it this way remember to say this is simply a 2z let me do that a 2z is equals to uh, tan inverse of y or like you have your y over x there so you can also write this as y over x is equals to your tan 2z instead of me writing in terms of in, in terms of the inverse um, I'm going to write it like that so I believe this rings a bell when you're talking about uh, derivatives of uh, inverse trig functions we use the similar pattern to to, to find the the, the the derivatives of uh, inverse trig functions so what it simply means here is that uh, my angle that I have here is simply 2 Z okay and I have been given that my tan 2 Z is simply equals to X over Y and from Sokatoa we know that its tangent um, theta is equals to opposite over adjacent so my opposite is y my adjacent is x so my hypot hypotenuse simply uh, turns out to be your x squared plus what your y squared okay so now looking at what we have we are saying our y over x is equals to what is equals to tan 2z so what you're going to do is that I'm going to differentiate this with respect to what with res respect to z so this is going to be I'm going to say d y x there d z okay i'm going to write it like that you can try to write it a bit different if you're not really satisfied with the way i'm writing it but i'm convinced it's okay writing like this myself so this is simply going to give us um, a two two sec squared uh two z remember the derivative of that is simply sec squared but because we are differentiating that one with respect to z you're going to have a two there as well okay so what it is is that I'm, I'm looking for dz d dyx okay so this is simply like dz uh, 
d y x like that okay this simply happens to be 1 over okay that turns out to be 1 over 2 um, 2 2 sec squared 2 z but we know that from identities that uh, cos theta is simply equals to 1 over what 1 over sec sec theta so I can, I'm going to write this as my what I'm going to write this as 2 uh, 2 cos uh, cos squared uh, 2 z like that okay so now we can say okay uh, our dz uh, dyx is simply equals to 2 okay so here I'm going to say open bracket I'm going to raise this to a square I mean to the second so this is more like a uh, cos 2z like that to the second so this turns out to be 2 so now when you say cos 2z you go to your triangle here and try to determine what your cos 2z is so remember to say cos theta in this case our 2z is equals to adjacent over hypotenuse and our hypotenuse is simply what you have here so we can say uh, it is our adjacent x divided by our hypotenuse which is the square root of x squared plus eh? y squared and we have a squared there so now how does this now become this turns out to be um, it turns out to be um, you're going to distribute the square inside so that'd be like uh, I'll say 2 so that would become x squared divided by introduce the square to that one uh, that will simply be x squared plus what plus y squared so this is what simply the derivative of z is with respect to what um, with respect to this here which is the y over d I mean with respect to y over x okay so I repeat this that you have here is not the derivative with respect to x it's not the derivative with respect to y it's simply the dz like y x that's why I'm writing I'm writing uh, like that it's more like a general one so when you start differentiating now with respect to x that's when we start to chip in the x as well as if it's in the y you bring in the y as well and we are going to understand that better in a short while okay so here we are saying our dz uh, dx y I mean y x like that is equals to we have found 2x squared divide by um, divide by x squared plus y squared like that so if I'm to find the first derivative with respect to x so it's more like you're trying to find your um, your your z x there that's simply going to be what you have here okay like you have differentiated this in general okay then you also differentiate this with respect to x I repeat differentiate this in general multiply by the derivative of this with respect to x and the general derivative of this is simply what we found right here okay then the derivative of that we can find I believe so it's like you have uh, y multiplied by 1 over x which is simply y multiplied by x to the power negative 1 we are differentiating with respect to x you are going to drop the power that would be like negative your x then subtract 1 that would be minus 2 that gives us minus y over x squared like that so the derivative of this with respect to x that's what we find there okay so this turns out to be minus y over x squared then you're multiplying by that there so this is a uh, 2x squared divided by x squared plus y squared okay so now uh, this goes and that goes so what I remain with is uh, this will be equals to minus y minus y over uh, your x squared plus your y squared like that okay uh, no 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 we still have a 2 yeah that would be a 2 right there this 2 that is here okay so that's that's simply that's just like the first derivative but we we have to find the we have to find the second derivative of that and I believe by now we observe that we are going to use the quotient rule so it's like 
your u is going to be equal to minus 2y, your v is going to be the denominator which is x squared plus y squared. So the u prime, remember we are differentiating with respect to x, okay, with respect to x, meaning this is a constant and what I get is simply a zero. Then uh, my v prime, differentiating with respect to x, this is going to give us 2x, okay. So your u prime by your v is more like your zero by x squared plus y squared, okay, that would be minus uh, your u which is your minus 2y, then your v which is, uh, no not v but v prime, which is uh, 2x like that, divide by um, what I have, my v squared which is x squared plus y squared. So, what do we end up having now? The second derivative, this will give us a zero, of course. That will give us a, a positive because we have two negatives multiplying each other. That would be like, um, that would be like four, uh, that would be four, that would be four x y or four y x, it matters less anyways. So that would be x squared, oh, that's a squared there, then plus y squared and squared like that. Okay, so that, that's like the uh, the second partial derivative with respect to x. Okay, so we can put it right here. I can say it's a uh, 4xy divided by um, x squared, um, x squared plus y squared squared like that. So once again, I see, I guess my smile is getting bigger and bigger and more genuine because I observe my denominator is simply the same for these three. Now let's try to convince ourselves it's the same for the um, for the other one as well. Okay, let me just try to write these probes. So this is y over x like that. So now uh, remember to say uh, our dz um, our dz uh, then dyx, what we had was uh, something like uh, 2x squared divided by um, x squared plus y squared like that. That's the general one. Then to find the derivative with respect to y, so it's like your zy, we are going to multiply the, like, the derivative of this by the derivative of that with respect to, to y. Okay, so what is the derivative of this with respect to y? It's simply 1 over x. Okay, because like you have your y over x. Derivative of this is simply a 1. That gives you what? 1 over 1 over x. So we are multiplying by what we have there. Um, that's simply um, what we have. We have 2x squared divided by x squared plus y squared like that then um, so this can go and we have one of them that can go there so it's uh, our zy which is going to be 2x over um, x squared plus y squared. Once again, we use the quotient rule. Okay, so in this case, our u is simply equals to 2x. Our v is, is equals to x squared plus y squared. So derivative of u, meaning our my u prime, but remember, I'm differentiating with respect to y, not to x, meaning my x is a constant. So this becomes a zero. So here I have like v prime is equals to, um, with respect to y, that's going to give us 2y like that. So now, um, what we have is that u prime by v, that's more like your 0 multiplied by your x squared plus your y squared. This is our second derivative we are finding, mind you. So that's minus uh, u by v prime. Your u is 2x, your v prime is 2u, divided by v squared, which is x squared plus y squared, then you square it like that. So this turns out to be minus... Um, 4xy divided by uh, x squared plus y squared squared like that. Okay, and that's simply what I bring right here. So this turns out to be a minus. That's a minus uh, 4x 
y like that divide by um, x squared plus y squared squared like that so now um, remember to say we said we have to bring these together so what it what it is is that um, what I have here um, I'm going to write these and these like we bring them together so it's like what I what we have let me just write to demarcate here so it's like we have our y squared minus our x squared by the way maybe before I even do that um, what you observe is that the denominator, denominator is the same so I'll just write um, I'll just do that the denominator is the same it's common in simple terms so it's like you're going to have your x squared plus y squared squared like that then I write the numerator for that and that's x minus I mean x y squared minus x squared okay then plus this one that's um that's four x y plus that's your x squared minus y squared which is this part then you go to this part uh, which is a minus four x y so what you observe is that this will go that will go the x will go and this x is go this one is gone that one is also going to go so see you simply have like um, you have this your 0 divided by your x squared plus your y squared squared giving you what a 0 and this is what we had and that's what we had to show and that's simply how you go about that one it's just a matter of remembering some concepts that we, that we did back then how to deal with uh, inverse trig functions so it doesn't really change the fact the, the the way in which we treat our inverse trig functions is simply one and the same thing the only thing that's different is that at some point you are differentiating with respect to y at some point you're differenti differentiating with respect to x that's the key point that's the key thing about partial derivatives you just have to know in respect to what are you differentiating to like in, is it in respect to x in respect to v in respect to u in respect to y or anything that you, any variable that you can give yourself Okay, so you just have to remember to say, for example, if you have your x and y variables, if you're differentiating with respect to x, this is a constant. Differentiating with respect to y, this is a constant. If you have your u and your v, or even all of them at once, or let me say uh, you have your x, y, z. If I'm differentiating with respect to x, this and this are constant, are constants. With respect to this, this and this are constant. If I'm differentiating with respect to z, these two are what are constant whether they are multiplying the z itself or, or they are just in the they, they are just on their own we treat them as constants okay so that's what we really have to keep in mind it really help us a lot yeah otherwise um thank you very much for watching